We're just days away from thousands of people taking over downtown Tampa for the 2019 NCAA Women's Final Four Championship. Now, this is the third time Tampa has been hosting this event. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton explains tonight why the city is deciding now to do some early spring cleaning. From McDill Park all the way down to Emily Arena, more than 120 volunteers equipped with bags and trash grabbers gave up their Sunday morning to clean up. These are sitting around in here in the mangroves up along in these bushes in here. And there were some also out on boats in the river cleaning up. That's where it starts floating in on the shore. So if we can get out there on the, sh on the water and clean up along, the, along the, the beaches, along the rivers, the intercoastal waterways, you know, that's, that's great. Sean Alton says that this is nothing compared to all the trash they had to pick up after this year's Gasparilla. Sean and others were surprised to be cleaning up now before the NCAA Women's Final Four Championship this week. And they're usually doing this after big events. This week is ba about basketball, NCAA Women's Collegiate Basketball, but it's also so much more than that. The Council for Responsible Sports will be here to get a closer look at the city and how clean it is. We're elevating our sustainability efforts. Claire Lessinger is the executive director for Tampa Bay Local Organizing Committee. They're working with Keep Tampa Bay Beautiful, the Tampa Electric, and the Tampa Bay Sports Commission to earn a sustainable event certification. And that certification will give the city a bigger name and open it up to host more sporting events like WrestleMania next year and, of course, the biggest sporting event of them all. The Super Bowl is going to be here in 2021, and we'll handle that as well. We are the place with great venues for this kind of thing. In Tampa, J.J. Burton, ABC Action News.